lecturer at the University of International Business and Economics in Beijing, UIBE, or I think as the Chinese call it, WIBE. And I'm talking with uh, Professor Wang Fu Ming. And uh, Professor Fu Ming is the director of the Australia China Centre, uh, amongst other things here at the university. Uh, we've just been discussing uh, his recent book, which is uh, Leadership Through the Classics, which is uh, discussing management and leadership, uh, incorporating uh, ancient Eastern and Western philosophy. Uh, but today we want to talk a little bit about uh, the Australia-China uh, business relationship. Um, welcome, Professor Fu Ming. Thank you. Uh, perhaps uh, we could start talking about the proposed free trade agreement between Australia and China. I know that's been uh, under negotiation for quite a number of years. Uh, could you just tell us a little bit about where that's at at the moment? Yeah, that's the free trade agreement. That's the one of uh, important uh, cooperation between China and uh, Australia, which is, uh, has been discussed for many years. Uh, so far as I know that uh, both sides are very positive to conclude uh, mm -hmm. such agreement, which will provide the opportunity for the Chinese the businessmen and also for uh, our trading uh, businessmen to conduct the further cooperation both in China and in Australia. That covered a lot of area which uh, have a potential development opportunities. So this is the very important. Um, expected to be uh, make a further progress uh, in the end of the year, uh, or if it really uh, uh, signed by two sides, I think. Or trading uh, billion men who may find an opportunity in China because uh, they have a lot of opportunity to follow up with the Chinese five year plan, which is uh, focused on the new era uh, that uh, provide opportunity and quite easily to get the support from Chinese government uh, to, to do the business. Okay, so a lot of things seem to be. Uh, coming together just at the moment, we've, we've got uh, uh, the new leadership in China and as you say, uh, a new five-year plan which is yep. uh, proposed or will come, in, come into effect probably uh, end of this year, early next year. Yes. Uh, and you, you think the, the free trade agreement with Australia could be concluded uh, perhaps early in 2014? Yeah, this is to be signed in uh, 2014. 14 and uh, and also another opportunity provided through the Chinese new uh, strategy they call the regional uh, strategy which uh, China set up a different regional uh, focus uh, mm. in China which provide more uh, resources mm. in that uh, geographically uh, resources mm. Uh, that's another opportunity. So that's why if the agreement is signed, that provides the uh, legal the, uh, framework for the uh, uh, companies uh, and also for the uh, government to provide the financial support. Okay, so, so we're looking at uh, you know, Chinese uh, development expanding much further into the western area of the country? It is. Mm. Now, West or Middle Western era become the one of focus for Chinese uh, economic development strategy. And that seems to be a story that there's, there's going to be a lot of opportunity for foreign companies uh, to participate and, and take part in, in that opening up of uh, the hinterland of the Western part of the country. Yes, absolutely. Uh, good opportunity because China now already has access to WTO for over a 10 years and also all the international investors will enjoy the uh, uh, equal the treatment, especially the national treatment and also uh, as the WTO rules. Mm. So that's why their benefit will be uh, protected by the Chinese law and, and also they were supported by the Chinese development strategy. All the Chinese and the foreigners will enjoy the uh, same treatment. What about uh, 
uh, Australian companies, do you think you can identify uh, particular areas uh, that Australian companies uh, might be able to take advantage of and also from the Chinese side, uh, what sort of areas they might be looking at uh, in Australia? According to Chinese, the uh, situation that, uh, as you know, that we have uh, three industry. Now, one called agriculture industry, manufacturing industry, mm -hmm. and then the survey industry. Now, survey industry now become more and more uh, important uh, or economic uh, driven force in China. So it doesn't matter whether the company is the largest or media side or small company. Uh, they they can uh, have an opportunity to participate mm -hmm. uh, service industry in China. And from this year, China will start a, a new strategy to support the media side, the small size company in the tax policy. From August 1st, the uh, small media size company, they can enjoy the uh, reduction of uh, or exemption of uh, uh, business tax. Mm -hmm. So that since China become membership of WTO, not just for Chinese, and also this the uh, good for the all trading company, mm -hmm. they can enjoy the same uh, uh, treatment. That's why that uh, give their uh, uh, financial support to develop the, their business in the service area. And what about Chinese companies in Australia? Do you think there's there's a lot of interest uh, amongst Chinese business people in, in doing business with Australia? And also, there, I found a lot of Chinese, especially large Chinese companies, they are interested in to do the business in Australia. They want to be involved in the uh, investment in the uh, natural resources or uh, agricultural industry. Uh, I think now there are many companies they are under the uh, discussion or negotiation. Uh, the problem is that the, uh, there is some concern from all trading uh, side that uh, uh, they are worried about in the future if more Chinese company come to all trading and now mm. they have more res control a uh, lot of resources. Mm. Uh, what happened to the all trading though? And also for from the Chinese side and the uh, uh, Chinese side also have some concern now uh, which area should be open to the all trading investors. Mm -hmm. uh, agricultural industry is Chinese uh, one of focus or one of important industry for not just for the Chinese government also for the uh, Chinese people because they provide mm -hmm. the food now uh, for all the Chinese now how to open the hundred percent open to the outside or or fifty percent mm -hmm. open to the outside uh, that also mm -hmm. the era uh, that's the reason why the free trade zone uh, free trade uh, agreement not finalized. There is some uh, uh, concern from both sides. I think if such concern could be moved, then they quite uh, uh, ha happily uh, signed by the two sides. Right. So it seems that the the free trade agreement uh, could iron out a lot of bumps. That there, there is some uh, uncertainty in, in some areas, as you say, with regard to investment. Uh, uh, areas which are allowed in both countries uh, and uh, the finalisation of this agreement could certainly uh, uh, make life a lot easier. So it's important for people I think to to monitor this uh, and to you know to keep up to date on what's really a, a rapidly changing uh, business environment but one that's got a lot of opportunities. Uh, Professor Fu Ming, thank you very much for talking with us uh, today and, uh, and best of luck with uh, your book. It's very interesting reading. It's my pleasure. I hope we'll get more uh, cooperation, not just between the business, but also between the educational institutions. Certainly. We're looking forward to that. Thank you. Thank you.